OK, so here we have a question on cumulative frequency graphs. And once again, I'm going to emphasize that we make sure that we understand what the question is about, getting a feel for the question. So, what does this 42 here tell me? Well, it tells me that 42 people, 42 people spent less than £200 on holiday. If only that was possible. Okay. And we should understand cumulative frequency. Whenever we do a question, we should understand what the question is asking us. So it tells us that 42 people spent less than £200. And 25 people spent less than £150. So from that, we can work out how many people spent between £150 and £200. And that is 17 people, the difference between them. We don't need to do that for this question, but we do need to understand, um, understand the data that we're given. This is cumulative frequency. OK, so we're going to plot a cumulative frequency graph. So if you look here, I have set up some axes here. Um, so along the bottom, we have the amount of money spent and cumulative frequency always goes up uh, on the y axis. OK, so let's start plotting some points. Well, we can assume that no people spent no money on their holiday. So let's put a cross there. We've got 13 people. Well, that's 10 so 13 people spent less than a hundred pounds 25 people spent less than 150 p pounds uh, 42 people spent less than 200 pounds up here 42 will be about there 64 people spent less than 250 64 people 93 people spent less than 300 pounds 110 spent less than 350 pounds and 120 spent less than 400 pounds so there is our graph now a cumulative frequency graph should always form this smooth s shape that we've got going up there so we're going to draw our s shape now I'm going to draw it from the top here so let's go down through there. It must pass through all the points being a smooth curve. And I'm just going to switch around there, switch my hand side, so it's easier to draw a smooth curve like that. So there is my cumulative frequency graph. OK. It now asks us to, you, to estimate the median. OK. Now, there are 120 people, so the top of the graph, and I don't mean, on my graph, the top of the graph is the top of the axis, but the highest value on here is 120, so that is everybody, or 100%. To find the median, we need to go to 50%, or half of 120, which is 60. So I'm going to write 50% there equals 60. So to find the median now, I get my ruler, and I draw, and you must do this to show the examiner that you know what you are doing. So I'm drawing a line across to the graph there. And then I'm going down the graph like this. And I'm drawing my line down here. So the top of the graph is at 120. The median is halfway up the graph, which is 60. I draw a dashed line across and down here. And so this value here is my median. And my median equals, well, we've got 200, 
20, 40, 60, 80, 300. So that's about 245, approximately. So let's write that. My median equals 245. Now, there are other things that we can work out from our cumulative frequency graph. Uh, we could be asked maybe a question, how many people... Um, or um, uh, how many people I'm struggling here how many people uh, 